Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Tuesday, March 26th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. Once again, I would like to wish anyone celebrating a very happy Passover. Now, last night featured the season premiere of The Voice on NBC. So I should have some interesting ratings to be crunching shortly after I complete this video cast. Before I get into any current TV news, I want to give a shout out to CBS daytime drama The Young and the Restless. It is celebrating 40 years on the air today. It debuted in 1973. Can you believe that 40 years has passed? Also on this day in TV history, let's go to 1969, Robert Young began his second long-running role, this time as Dr. Marcus Welby, in a made-for-television movie called A Matter of Humanities. In 1971, William Conrad began his role as Detective Frank Cannon, also in a made-for-television movie, and in 1989, NBC introduced its science fiction drama, Quantum Leap. What was memorable about Quantum Leap was it didn't have a large audience, but it did have relatively good young demographics, and that is what kept it on the air for five and a half seasons. Quantum Leap was one of the first shows to focus on the demos. Now, let's head to some current TV news. If you're a fan of Cougar Town on TBS, I have good news for you. The cable network has picked it up. For its second season on TBS and its fifth overall, it has ordered 13 new episodes for 2014. If you take the 61 episodes produced on ABC plus the 28 to date on TBS, that will bring the total episode tally to 89. Cougar Town this season is averaging 2.8 million viewers based on the live plus seven day data. The Academy Awards, ABC has announced the upcoming dates for the next two telecasts. They will both be airing live from the Dolby Theater in Los Angeles. The 86th Annual Academy Awards will be telecast on March 2nd, 2014. And the 87th Annual Academy Awards will be telecast on February 22nd, 2015. There is no confirmed host yet, but my gut is telling me that Seth MacFarlane is not going to come back. I am hoping Billy Crystal returns because he really is the best. Over at Showtime, the cable network has announced that the fourth season of reality docuseries Gigolos will begin on April 18th. Over at MTV, the upcoming 2013 Video Music Awards, which will air on Sunday, April 25th, will be telecast live from Brooklyn, New York. This is the first time Brooklyn will be the home of a major award show. Over at Digital Cable Network Crackle, they have picked up its drama series chosen for a second season, which is headlined by former Gilmore Girls star Milo Ventimiglia. And digital is really the wave of the future. There is so many more original shows popping up on digital. We now have to figure out a way to really crunch the you, you know, the numbers, the number of people going on the websites to see it. That's going to be the next wave of crunching data. Tonight on CBS is part two of the pilot NCIS Red, which the first part was last week. It got over 16 million viewers. There is every reason to believe that NCIS Red will be on CBS's full schedule. The question is, where will it be airing? Esquire Network, which is the reboot of G4, will debut its upcoming cooking competition, Knife Fight, on April 23rd, which is one day after the official launch of Esquire. And Deborah Messing, who we know, of course, as playing Grace Adler on Will and & Grace, and recently on Smash, which was downgraded to Saturday. She is looking for a job, and she has been cast in a CBS sitcom pilot formerly known as Mother's Day. She will play a 40-year-old wife, mother of three, career woman, who is constantly lying. Sounds hysterical, doesn't it? Now, before I depart, I'm working from home, so I have a co-host, and he's sitting here. His name is Buster Berman. Let me bring him on. Buster is my little assistant, we watched TV together. Last night we watched Dallas, and we caught some of Dancing with the Stars and The Voice, so we were watching a lot, weren't we? Well, Buster and I want to wish everyone once again, if you're celebrating, happy Passover. We hope you have a great day, and I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, tomorrow. Signing off, Mark and Buster Berman. <laughs>